we're working with people that are deployed. They're away from their families. And so what is it that, that they want when they're overseas? They want to stay connected. So for the USO, um, our mission is to lift the spirits of troops and their families. So how do we best support the troops overseas? Well, it's keeping them connected. We do programs for families. We do things that support spouses. We do things that support kids. We have a Sesame Street tour that's going out in a couple weeks that will visit 70 bases over the next nine months and literally just work with little <coughs> kids. They're going to do a performance with Elmo and Rosita and Cookie Monster and a new little girl named Katie who's a military child. Okay, we're going to move on to dressing for success. So dressing is important when you go into a place to possibly pick up an application or find out if they're hiring. And then of course, if you're lucky enough to get an interview, um, dressing for the interview is very important. We know what our front side of the moon looks like because we see it all the time. It's a full moon out there right now. Does it have as many craters? No. no. So what's going on? <coughs> Meteors. Yes? It's been hit by the one. You got it. It's been hit by everything in the last four and a half billion years. The entire record of our solar system is on the back side of the moon just waiting for us to go find out. Yes. Got it. The second person that walked on our moon, I should say second man, because has there been any women? No. Yes. No. no. On the moon? No, there hasn't been. There's no woman. What's up with that? <laughs> what is up with that? All right, who's going to be the first woman to get back on the moon? Yay! All right. The Dragon Eye was made for the Marines. They take this airplane out of their backpack, they plug it together, turn on their laptop computer, which has a GPS. Uh, system in it so they know where it knows where they are and it brings up a, a military map of the area and you touch the screen where you want the airplane to fly and, and send pictures back from and then you pick up the airplane and you toss it and it knows it turns itself on and it's programmed by that computer you don't have to be a pilot at all we, we pull a marine out of the chow line and in one afternoon train him to operate an unmanned <laughs> air airplane does anyone have any idea of what they want to be what, 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 what would you like to be an artist no, sir. Well, okay. That, that's why you're friends. Pardon me? Friends. Computer science. Computer science. That's good. You're way ahead of me. You can. You, I, I need you. I, I, I have. I have a tough time playing solitaire. Yes. Um, aircraft designer. Aircraft designer. Well, that's a. That's a great field. And, and the more you read, the broader you get. The more things you understand. You want to. And I don't always read things that. That, that, that I agree with because I want to be challenged. I think that the most, the most stimulating thing can happen is to be challenged. Your, your teachers, the best teachers and the teachers you like the best are the ones that challenge you, right? The ones that really stimulate you and get you thinking. That's what you need to do.